Section A. Attempt all questions. Question 1. On the outline map of India provided mark and name the following. Vindhya Mountains. River Yamuna. Kolkata. Kanchenjunga. Lake Chilka. Konkan Coastal Plain. Thar Desert. Gulf of Kambat. Mark with arrows, the direction of northeast monsoon wind. Mumbai High. Section B. Attempt any three questions from this section. Question 2. Give any one use of copper. Uses. It is a good conductor of electricity, therefore used for making electric wires. It is used in automobile and defense industries. It is alloyed with nickel and iron to make stainless steel. It is used in shipbuilding industry. Anyone. Name two Indian states in which iron ore is found in abundance. Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand. With reference to the Hirakud project answer the following. On which river is it based? Mahanadi. Name an Indian state benefited by Hirakud project. Odisha. Give three disadvantages of using coal. Demerits. The Indian coal has high ash content and low calorific value. The quality of coal required for producing coke, as an essential input in steel industry, is deficient. All major coal fields are confined to Chotanagpur Plateau causing heavy transport costs to distribute coal across long distances in the country. Mention two advantages of nuclear power. Cost of production is lower. Less pollution in comparison to thermal power plants. They reduce the use of fossil fuels. Minerals are non-exhaustible. Any two. What is the advantage of using solar energy in place of conventional sources of energy? Renewable source of energy. No cost for the raw material. No pollution. Reduce the use of fossil fuels. Anyone. Question 3. Mention two problems faced by the agricultural sector of India. Problems of Indian agriculture. More than 50% of the total cultivable land depends on the vagaries, difficult to predict or control, of the monsoon rainfall. Unreliable and seasonal distribution of rainfall leads to the failure of the rain-fed crops. Karif crops. The farm holdings are small and uneconomical. Obsolete implements and unscientific methods provide very less yield to the farmers. Unsound credit system and poverty of the farmers is another reason for the less production. Or Soil erosion Lack of irrigation facilities Seasonal monsoons Lack of market facilities Any two Mention any one climatic condition found suitable for growing cotton. Cotton requires high temperatures between 21 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius, with abundant sunshine during the harvest. 2. It requires moderate rainfall between 50 cm to 80 cm. Rain during the ripening period and before harvesting spoils cotton. Therefore, higher temperature and irrigation are preferred for the cultivation of cotton. Name the state that is the leading producer of cotton in India. Gujarat. With reference to the rice cultivation, answer the following. Name the soil suitable for its growth. Alluvial soil. Name the state that is the largest producer of this crop in India. West Bengal. In which cropping season is it generally grown in India? Karif season. Name the state that is the largest producer of sugarcane in India. Uttar Pradesh. Why more than two Raytoon crops are not advisable for sugarcane farmers? Yield per hectare reduces from the second year. What is Zayed cropping season? Zayed slash Zayed crop, extra crop grown between the rubby and the Karif crop. E.g., vegetables, e.g., cucumber, 
seasonal fruits, e.g., watermelon. Question 4. Differentiate between mineral-based and agro-based industry giving suitable example for each from India. Agro-based industries mineral-based industries. These industries obtain raw material from agriculture. These industries use minerals as basic raw material. They provide employment in the rural areas. They provide employment both in rural and urban areas. They produce consumer goods mainly. They produce basic goods and capital goods mainly. E.g., sugar, jute textile etc. E.g., iron and steel, heavy engineering etc. Give two ways in which petrochemical industry is important in India. Petrochemical products are cost effective. They are durable. These are cheaper as compared to the traditional products. Raw materials are easily available. They employ about 3 million people. Any two. With reference to the Tata Steel plant, answer, answer the following. Where is it located? Yaharkand slash at Jamshedpur slash on the bank of Subarnaraka River. Any one. From where does it get its coal requirements? Yaharia slash Bakaro. Any one. From where does it get its iron ore requirements? No Mundi, Singbum, No Mundi Mines in Singbum district in Yaharkand, Guru Masani in May Urban J. Only one name from the above given names. Name any two byproducts of sugar industry. Molasses, it is dark colored syrup like liquid left after the crystallization of sugar. It is used to prepare methanol, fertilizers, and yeast. It is also used for distillation of liquor. Bagasse, it is the residue left after the production of sugar. It is used as a fuel, organic fertilizer, and used in manufacturing of paper. Press mud, it is used for making shoe polish, wax etc. Ethanol, the type of alcohol in alcoholic drinks also used as a solvent. It is produced by fermenting sugar cane juice. Any two. Why are the cotton textile industries mostly located in the coastal areas? Humid climatic condition is best for the weaving of cotton. India imports long staple cotton and exports cotton products. So, coastal location is best for export and import. High humid climatic condition of coastal areas offers high demand for cotton products throughout the year. Question 5. Mention any two advantages of using roadways. Roads are the only possible means of transport in the hilly regions. They are more accessible to different places than other means of transportation. They link villages to the urban areas. Roads can act as feeders, supply goods for transportation, to the railways and waterways. Easy to construct and maintain. The movement of goods is safer through road transport as the chances of pilferage, theft, are less than in the railways. Any two. What is the purpose of developing the Golden Quadrilateral in India? Golden Quadrilateral is six-lane expressway that is designed to provide fast movement of vehicles. They are constructed and maintained by National Highway Authority of India, NHAI. Mention three disadvantages of waterways. Transportation depends on weather conditions. It needs long traveling hours which causes seasickness. Water transport is limited to the areas where rivers are navigable or oceanic routes exist. Give reasons for the following. Railways are not well developed in northeastern states in India. Railway transport is developed very little in the Himalayan region because the large number of rivers needs the construction of bridges, which requires heavy expenditure. There are few railways in the flood plains, in the Himalayan region because of its ruggedness. Anyone? Air transport has gained popularity in recent time in India. Air transport is the fastest, and comfortable, means of transportation. It is relatively free of physical barriers like mountain ranges. Air transport made it possible to reach most remote parts of the earth. Air transport is of particular importance during natural calamities. Anyone? NSEW is helpful for India. NSEW represent north-south and east-west corridors. They are needed for the fast movement of people and goods. Question 6. 
Why is there a need for waste management in large metropolitan cities? Waste accumulation of the cities go beyond the capacity of the cities. Waste accumulation causes foul smell, increase in the number of mosquitoes, rodents etc. Waste accumulation causes diseases. Why is composting considered a safe method of waste disposal? Composting is the production of manure from the biodegradable waste. It reduces waste and produces manure that is good for agriculture. Why should we reuse waste? Reuse means the use of same product several times. For example, bottles can be used again and again for carrying water. It reduces the generation of waste. How can farm waste be made useful? Farm waste can be converted into manure to increase the fertility of the soil. They can be used for the generation of biogas. Anyone? How is dumping of waste harmful? Waste accumulation causes foul smell, increase in the temperature and increase in the number of rodents and flies. Mention three ways to reduce waste generation at home. Lead a simple life. Practice reduce, reuse and recycle, selling old products to reduce waste. Convert biodegradable waste to manure. Create biogas plant to reduce kitchen waste. Subscribe our channel to know about the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.